أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي أنزل عليك الكتاب منه آيات محكمات محكمات هن أم الكتاب وأخر متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيتبعون ما تشابه فيتبعون ما تشابه منه ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تأويله وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله والراسخون في العلم يقولون آمنا به كل من عند ربنا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد صدق الله العظيم Greetings to the class of 2021. It's my honor and privilege as President of RCSI Bahrain to address you, the graduating class of 2021, on this special occasion. I'm delighted to welcome you, your families, sponsors, friends, and the RCSI faculty to this virtual conferring ceremony where we celebrate this exceptional milestone in your journey. We are extremely honored that this conferring is under the patronage of His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain. We extend our sincere appreciation to His Royal Highness, who is also chairing the COVID-19 National Task Force Group, and would like to congratulate the Kingdom of Bahrain for being commended twice by the World Health Organization for the outstanding work carried from the onset of this pandemic. Despite the challenges resulting from the pandemic, we are all very proud of our 2021 graduates for demonstrating great dedication and fulfilling their commitments to completing their programs of study with success. We are grateful to our staff and faculty team for their devotion and support to our students through this challenging time. I also extend my thanks to them for providing the highest quality of teaching and setting extensive plans to ensure that our senior students gain the required knowledge and skill they need to graduate. I would like to extend my appreciation and thanks to our stakeholders at the ministries and hospitals for their support which enabled us to graduate our final year students on time. 
class 2021 20, graduates. Today is the combination of many years of your hard work. You have overcome several unexpected difficulties to reach this stage, and you are all worthy of our admiration and congratulations. I am confident that your families, loved ones, and friends will join me in honoring this major achievement. Soon you will be joining your colleagues in the workforce, and I want to take this opportunity to extend our gratitude and appreciation to all frontline health workers in Bahrain who are working hard to fight against the pandemic. Once again, I extend my congratulation to all of you. Please enjoy your very well-deserved success today, and we look forward to welcoming you back to RCSI as alumni. Please keep well and stay safe. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, the new graduates. It's my great pleasure to be addressing you today on the occasion of the graduation of the 2021 class under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain. I would like to start by congratulating the 2021 graduates who have demonstrated a great deal of resilience and determination in achieving their goals under the challenging circumstances of a global pandemic. Under the guidance of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, I would like to acknowledge the outstanding work carried out by the Kingdom to combat the, the, the pandemic. Our efforts have been reflected by the high recovery and low death rates in the country and the vaccination of over 50% of the adult population. The 2021 graduates will soon be joining their colleagues in the workforce and their much needed contribution to the healthcare services in Bahrain are across the world at this challenging time will be even more crucial. The graduates have chosen a profession to support the patients and conduct improve research to have to, to pave new cases, new ways for forward in the healthcare around the world. Therefore, they deserve all our support and admiration. On behalf of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Kingdom of Bahrain, I extend my sincere congratulations to the 2021 graduates and I wish you all great success in your future endeavor. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Martin Corbally, Professor and Head of Surgery at RCSI Bahrain. I'm delighted to welcome each of you today as you join us from all corners of the world for this very special ceremony. We are here today to present you virtually with your degrees in medicine of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Medical University of Bahrain. Joining me for today's ceremony is Professor Ronan O'Connell, President of RCSI, Professor Samir Utum, President of RCSI Bahrain, Professor Alfred Nicholson, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Head of the School of Medicine at RCSI Bahrain, and Dr. Morris Manning, Chancellor of the National University of Ireland. I now declare open the conferring ceremony of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Medical University of Bahrain. If I could ask you, from where you are with your families and friends, to stand and recite together with me the declaration of RCSI. I, your name, do solemnly and sincerely declare and promise that I will observe and be obedient to the statutes, bylaws, and ordinances of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and that I will, to the utmost of my power, endeavour to promote the reputation, honour 
and dignity of the said college. Today, faced with a global pandemic, this declaration holds more value and importance to all medical professions. The words you're about to say will, I hope, be your guiding light as you progress through your career. The RCSI Graduate Declaration, which you will recite together, is a commitment to the highest standards of professionalism and ethical practice in your career, as you were taught during your time and studies at RCSI. During the recital of this declaration, the words will appear on the screen. I encourage you, from where you are, to stand and recite this declaration with pride and confidence. It now gives me great pleasure to invite all the graduates to recite together the following declaration. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity. The health of my patient will be my first concern. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will remember that there is art to my profession as well as science and, and that, that warmth, warmth empathy, empathy, and understanding, understanding may, may outweigh treatment alone. alone. I will respect, respect the confidential information that has been trusted, and trusted in me, even after a patient has died. died. I will not permit consideration of age, age disease, disease or disability, disability creed, creed, ethnic origin, gender, gender nationality, nationality, political affiliation, race, race sexual, sexual orientation, orientation social standing, standing or any, any other factor to intervene between my duty and my, and my patient. I will not use my professional knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I will respect the hard and scientific gains of those whose steps I walk, and gladly share such knowledge with those that follow. I will abide by the code of conduct of my profession, and I will promote high standards of practice, lifelong education and research, in the interest of human health. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. For the award of honors degrees of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Obstetrics, I now present you for conferring. Pre honorabilis cancellariae, Totoque Universitas, Presento Vobus Hasmias Filias et Hasmias Filios. Quos omnis sciotam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et idiones esse, qui admitantur ad gradum baccalariatus in medicina, in chirurgia, in arte obstetricia, honoro curso confecto, idque tibi fide mia testor expondeo, totique academiae. Good afternoon. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Professor Rufran Jassim, Associate Professor in Family Medicine, RCSI Bahrain. It is a great honor for me to be here this afternoon to announce the graduates of the class of 2021. The names will be called alphabetically by first name. Abdul Aziz Basil Abdul Wahab Abdul Razzag. Abdul Aziz Mazen Muhammad Ahmed Mutar, Abdullah Al Awadi, Abdullah Khalil Ibrahim Jum'a Rabi', Abdullah Muhammad Abdullah Mansour Al Muharrigi, Abdullah Al Ali, Abdullah Al Abdul Rahman, Abdul Rahman Ali Abdul Rahman Muhammad Ali. عبد الرحمن خالد عبد الرحمن الراعي عبد الكريم ماجد رصاص عبير عماد الحبشي عدنان أحمد أحمد علي عبد الرسول عبد الحسين العكري أحمد إهاب السيد حسين حمودة أحمد مهران أحمد محمد أحمد حسن أحمد المؤمن عاش الموينع علي محمد علي صباح محمد الشريف فهر اللهيمج 
أمير الحوطي عمار ياسر عبد النبي قربان خيامي أمروثا فينو جوبال أندرو نشنتان جايا راجا أسماء السمحان عاش شبير جوتو عاش شعيب محمد شمس الدين وحيد بسم أحمد بيان سيد حسن عاشور هاشم محمد بثين العوضي دانش أحمد دلال أمين محمد سلطان يوسف دان عبد العزيز فريد خليل دان حسام عبد العزيز محمد نور دانيال علي قرشي إبراهيم الحربي ابتسام مبروك سالم محمد حويل النهدي إحسان مسعود لودي إيمان تنفر شاه إيمان علي حسن فردان علي عصام صلاح علي وسند إبراهيم فاتح افتخار خان فهد محمد السيد عيد فهد الزير فالح الرشدان فاطمة صقر محمد عجلان الرويعي فاطمة يوسف محمد يوسف الشيخ فاطمة محمد عيسى شاهين فرانشيسكا بكري هاجر علي عمر مصراتي هاجر سيد سعد عبد الرزاق عبد الله حنين عبد الله عيسى محمد حسن الجزاف حنين حسن سيد شرف محمد الحسيني حوراء تقي هند خالد علي إبراهيم حسين الهاشمي هدى ناصر جمعة حسين عصام حسين أحمدي حسين الزيدي إقراء شدري جاي تشين لو جونيور جينيفر نوابيا إهيواريو كارين فاضل كوثر محمود عبد القفار محمد أحمد خالد أحمد عبد الله ناصر المسلم خالد وسيم آغا تباري خالد زياد خالد البواليز لطيفة عبد الرحيم محمد عبد الرحيم فخرو لطيفة خليفة عبد الله ناصر عبدان لطيفة خليفة ثامر خليفة حز الكعبي ليال فاضل سلمان حبيل النجار لولو عبد الله صالح الرويعي ماهر محمد ماهر محمد حسن طه محمود الجغامي منال المطيري منار سيد قاسم حسين قاسم حسين مرام سبيعي مرام نجيب محمد الأغبري مروان طاهر محمد جاسم محمد المالكي ماريا وليد محمد أحمد الحمادي مريم محمد عبد الله حسين قاسم الحرمي مريم الفهد مايا هشام حامد مياسة شوقي حسن محمد الجودر مينا ماهر موريس أمين اسكندر محمد عطية زكي عطية حسين محمد فؤاد إبراهيم خليل الكلبان محمد حسن محمد عبد الرحمن شجاعي محمد أيوب محمد عبد الله سعد الدين ياسر محمد هارس عزيز محمد نجيب محمد الأغبري محمد عثمان خان وزير معين الإسلام مشيرة مهران مصطفى أحمد فوزي أحمد السيد مجتبى علي أحمد عبد الله مال الله 
مصطفى محمد محمد حسن حماد مزنى افتخار لون ندى محمود أحمد عبد الرحيم عبد الله ناصر الملة نوراء عبد النبي عبد الحسين عبد الله حبيل نور علي نور عبد الصمد عبد الغني البوسطة نور جمال عبد الله عيسى النجم نور مجدي سعد قنبر نور سهيل إسماعيل حجي آغا كازروني نور آدم محمد علي نور محمد حمد محمد أحمد نور الباقر عمر خالد محمد عباس أمنية أبو مدين بارديب سينغ سدو باريسا محي الدين قيروان الشمار رغد غازي فيصل رنا عبد الرحمن صادق النجار راشد عندليب غلام حسين كرمستاجي روان إبراهيم حسين علي أحمد إسماعيل روان محمد عبد الرحيم محمد عبد الرحمن روان ياسر جابر الحناوي راية مازن علي طبلت ريم محمد عبد الله محمد البنزايد رشما أمين رولا جمال حسن محمد علي نقي راين وينستون وودلاند سعد طرابيجي سالم الحشاش سالس إزاز رسول سماح فيصل علي سعيد الموسوي سماحة عبد باسط عمر سمح العجمي سميح هيثم بركات سارة النعمة شهد السجاري شوق عبد العزيز صالح أحمد محمد الغزال سهام دياب سراج محمود بن بركة سري هرشا لنكيلا سكانيا سدير جوشي طارق محمد جعفر سلمان المطوع ثرمجان ثرما رتنام يحيى عبد الودود هاشمي ياسمين نعيم عبد الماجد حسن يوسف العلي يوسف الحربان يوسف بدر يوسف رحمة دوسري زيد محمد عقل عويس زينب عبد الله زينب جاسم حسين محمد حسن زينب الكندري زينب ما شاء الله غلوم محمد أحمد زينب سيد محمد مهدي محسن فضل زياد خالد أحمد عبد الكريم محمود زويا خان That concludes the award of degrees for the RCSI School of Medicine. I now invite you from all around the world to join me in offering a round of applause to the 2021 School of Medicine graduates. Hello, my name is Professor Alf Nicholson. I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Head of the School of Medicine. Can I add my sincere congratulations to all our graduates? We're extremely proud of your achievements. I remember with great fondness my own graduation day 40 years ago and the pride and joy brought to my parents and extended family. One of the positives of this virtual ceremony is that your family, wherever they may be, can share in your triumph. This graduating class has had to endure not just three months of a global pandemic, but rather 15 months with study right throughout the summer break 
and I salute your courage and focus during these very challenging times. You should be justifiably proud of this wonderful achievement. It now gives me great pleasure to announce the winners of this year's prizes and awards, which have been earned with excellence and pride. The Professor John Murphy Prize in Obstetrics and Gynecology goes to Hajar Sayyid Saad Abdul Razzaq Abdullah. The Professor James Fanukan Prize in Medicine goes to Ahmed Ali Abdul Rasul Abdul Hussein Al Akri. The Professor Nilo Higgins Prize in Surgery goes to. Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. The Professor Joe McMenamin Prize in a Pediatrics goes to. Mina Maher Maurice Amin Iskander. The Professor Charlotte Kamel Prize in a Psychiatry goes to. Fatma Muhammad Isa Shaheen. The Professor David Whitford Prize in General Practice goes to. Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. Senior Cycle Bronze Medal is awarded to Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. The Senior Cycle Silver Medal goes to Menar Sayyid Qasim Hussain Qasim Hussain. The Highest Aggregate Marks Gold Medal goes to Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. The Degree Award Marks Gold Medal goes to Menar Sayyid Qasim Hussain Qasim Hussain. The uh, awards and medals for Foundation Year. The Foundation Year Bronze Medal goes to Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. The Foundation Year Silver Medal goes to Mustafa Muhammad Muhammad Hassan Hamad. The Junior Cycle Bronze Medal goes to Hind Khalid Ali Ibrahim Hussain Al Hashimi. The Junior Cycle Silver Medal goes to Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. The Intermediate Cycle Bronze Medal goes to Menar Sayyid Qasim Hussain Qasim Hussain. The Intermediate Cycle Silver Medal goes to Ali Muhammad Ali Sabah Muhammad. The Best Pediatric Project Award uh, for Senior Cycle 1 goes to Jai Chin Lu Junior. Many congratulations to all our award winners today. Class of 2021, hello, and many congratulations for graduating from RCSI Bahrain. In different circumstances, we would be gathering with your classmates, with your families, and loved ones to celebrate and honor your achievement and your success. But as you know, these are exceptional circumstances, which makes you exceptional graduates. I know that last year was tough for so many of you and in so many different ways. But under the most enormous pressure, you have adapted, you have remained focused, and you have delivered. You've shown resilience and demonstrated true gifts. And now, in this moment of immense significance, you are ready to step up, make a difference, and bring your talent to bear. You have the knowledge, the skills, and humanity to tackle the greatest challenges that we face, whether it's defeating COVID-19 or ensuring that everyone, no matter their background, creed, color, or class, is treated equally and offered the same chance of medical treatment. Graduates, whichever specialty you decide to pursue, you will always be tied to us in RCSI Bahrain. For you to begin a new chapter and become the world changers that RCSI knows that you can be. It's time to rise to the moment, to unleash your potential, 
to shape the challenges of our time. Class of 2021, congratulations on what you have achieved. Be proud and celebrate your success. Each of you is a world changer. RCSI knows it, I know it. Now it is time for you to let the world know it too. Thank you and congratulations. Greetings, graduating class of 2021. First of all, I would like to congratulate you all on being here. The fact that you are here and watching this means that you have come a long way. And that is not an easy feat. It is a cause for celebration, and you should take pride in where you are right now. The best is yet to come, and the only direction you should look at is forward. While it is disappointing that you could not attend the ceremony in person with your peers, the circumstances demand that the university ensures everyone's safety, and I know that everyone would have preferred to make this ceremony in person because our professors understand the importance of this day for both graduates and their parents. In the end, you are the future. And in the face of a global pandemic, you managed to adapt to a whole different way of learning. And here you are. You are finally doctors. This is no ordinary day. This is a day that will live on in your hearts and minds forever. This is the day you are finally released into the real world armed with knowledge and confidence. This is the day you are past the baton and find yourself responsible for another person's life. This is the day you will always look back on and think, I will live to see a day where I felt as proud as when I graduated. This is truly one special day. Although this is a day of celebration, I want to remind you all that not all days are going to be as pleasant and cheerful. There will be days when you will go to work with a big smile on your face. And there will be days when you will feel down or stressed out. When you have a bad day, just remember how diamonds are formed, needing both very high temperature and very strong pressure in order to turn into the beautiful gems we see. Diamonds are the world's hard substances. And so as Pink Floyd would say, shine on your diamond. Congratulations. You have come a long way, and I hope to see you all out there, not just as good doctors, but as great doctors. I have faith in you all. Thank you. Good afternoon and good evening. I'm tremendously humbled to be delivering this speech today on behalf of my fellow graduates. I'd like to start by thanking His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain for his patronage of this ceremony. I would also like to thank the RCSI faculty for their arduous efforts, guidance and dedication over the past years and especially during the past one amidst a global unprecedented pandemic. A special thanks goes to the patients we encountered throughout our clinical years who shared their vulnerabilities with us who also sacrificed their time and their privacy to contribute to our education. Thank you for your generosity and pure altruism. I would also like to offer my sincere gratitude and appreciation to our parents, siblings, grandparents, friends, and loved ones for their unending support and unswerving patience with us over the past years. You listened to our endless rumbles, worries, and uncertainties like no other. You were there in moments of joy, tension, sadness, and tears. Your unwavering support is what helped us reach this destination today, and we will forever be indebted to you. To the class of 2021, otherwise known as the COVID patch, many congratulations on this spectacular achievement. I am truly privileged to have shared this journey with such ambitious and remarkable young men and women. We had to overcome so many hurdles and we went through so much in this long journey. I still vividly remember when university closed on the first week of our fourth rotation in SC1. At the time, we thought we were resuming in two weeks, but little did we know that we weren't continuing until August. And we had no idea that we were finishing SC1 in October and entering final year in less than a week afterwards. The amount of stress, hardship and struggle was staggering to say the least, but we pulled through and excelled nonetheless. 
I also have the greatest admiration to some of us who continue to pursue their goals despite struggling with physical or mental illnesses, as well as those who grieve the loss of loved ones amid this extremely demanding journey. I am sure that all of the 2021 class holds the utmost respect and admiration for you all. As we embark on our new journey, remember that there is an art to medicine. Our teachings in RCSI had a lot of medical sciences, pharmacology, and surgery, but they also encompassed an understanding of the sensitive role of physicians in interacting with patients and their families. I always remember that we do not treat labs or x-rays, but human beings who feel, breathe, and dream. Treat them like how you would want your own family to be treated. Treasure them as you would for a loved one and never forget to embrace your shared humanity. What we achieved today is truly marvelous, but challenges lay ahead of us that require no less dedication and hard work. Nelson Mandela said, after climbing a great hill, one only discovers that there are many more hills to climb. Medicine is ever-changing, and as the next generation of healthcare professionals, we must keep on learning, reflecting, and improving. Finally, to the class of 2021, congratulations on everything you have achieved and everything you will achieve. I look forward to all the stories you will have to tell and the many places medicine will take you. All the best in your future endeavors. Your Excellencies, Registrar CEO of RCSI, President of RCSI Bahrain, Deans, Heads of School, Programme Directors, Graduates, Family Members, Friends and Supporters and all of those watching this Cyber Graduation Ceremony. I would like to begin by thanking His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, for accepting the invitation to become Patron of RCSI Medical University of Bahrain. It is a great honour for all associated with RCSI and MUB. His Royal Highness is represented today by His Excellency Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, to whom we are very grateful for the unwavering support of RCSI Medical University of Bahrain. I wish also to thank our major stakeholders and supporters in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Major General Professor Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, Director of the Royal Medical Services Bahrain Defence Force Hospital. Major General Salmin Al Khalifa, CEO of King Hamad University Hospital. His Excellency Major bin Ali Al Naimi, the Minister of Education and Chair of the Higher Education Council. And all of those institutions who so readily support the clinical placements of our students. Salmania Medical Complex, the Cardiac Centre, the National Health Regulatory Authority, Tamkeen, Bahrain Red Crescent Society, the American Mission Hospital, the Royal Bahrain Hospital, and also the private sector. Their support has been essential to the successful delivery of degree programmes at RCSI Bahrain. As RCSI President, I wish to be among the first to offer my sincere congratulations to you, our new graduates. I'm so sorry that I cannot greet you all individually on this most important of days. I hope that you will be able to celebrate with those close to you. The term unprecedented is overused, but it hardly comes close to describing the upheaval of the past 16 months. I wish to acknowledge the excellent work carried out in Bahrain, fighting the pandemic under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, who chaired the National COVID-19 Task Force. Great leadership is also evident in the ongoing programme to vaccinate all citizens and residents of Bahrain and in the clinical trials research on COVID-19 undertaken in partnership with the government. I want to pay tribute to you, our new graduates, to your teachers and mentors, and to the staff of RCSI Bahrain for the successful completion of your studies, culminating in graduation today. You have coped with disrupted timetables and altered examination formats. You have supported each other. All of us in RCSI are extremely proud of you. We are greatly indebted to the leadership of RCSI Bahrain, 
who have guided us through these difficult times. President Professor Samir O'Toom, Chief Operating Officer Mr. Stephen Harrison Mirfield, Vice President for Academic Affairs Professor Alfred Nicholson, Head of School of Postgraduate Studies and Research Professor Stephen Aitken, and Acting Head of the School of Nursing Dr. Catherine Strachan. Your success today is a huge testament to the spirit and dedication of all of those within the RCSI family, and we wish you every success in your future careers. RCSI Bahrain endeavours to enhance health in Bahrain, the GCC region and beyond through endeavour, innovation, research and service, with a strong emphasis on clinical competence and respect for patient autonomy. The quality of the education you have received is evidenced by the outstanding pass rate for the USMLE Step 1 examination. Many of you have matched to prestigious training positions in the US, Canada and the UK. I congratulate you on your success. You will practice in the shadow of the pandemic. Societal values, even political ideologies will change. However, your commitment to the welfare of your patient will not. You have witnessed quiet heroism among so many healthcare workers, and by that I mean all healthcare staff, not just doctors and nurses. Many things will be required of you, but I think one attribute will serve you better than most, respect. Get this right and I believe all other domains of professional life will fall into place. Respect your patient. He or she expects that you will put their interests, their safety, even their survival above all else. Respect your healthcare colleagues. Kind words always bring reward. Respect yourself. Build resilience. Keep friends. Mend fences. Don't burn out. It has been a great privilege to join you today. Carpe diem, seize the day. Remember today, remember your family, remember your friends, and remember the responsibilities that now fall to you as graduates of NUI and RCSI. Keep safe, keep in contact. I wish you fulfillment and happiness in your chosen careers. This year, for the second year in a row, the summer conferings at RCSI Bahrain are virtual events. This is disappointing for me, as I know it is for all those graduating today. This is a day of great celebration for us all. For me, it provides the opportunity to welcome our newest medical graduates into the National University of Ireland. For you, it is a landmark day, marking the successful completion of your undergraduate studies, your qualifications as doctors, and the beginning of your professional lives. As Chancellor of the National University of Ireland, it has always been a pleasure for me to travel to Bahrain for the summer conferings, to congratulate the new graduates and to meet your families. The ceremony in RCSI Bahrain is always really impressive, with the hall magnificently decorated, garlanded graduates with smiling faces, cameras flashing, an atmosphere of great excitement and distinguished guests of honour in attendance. Today, as you follow the ceremony on screen, you will have to try and recreate that lively environment and make this day as special as you can. Be sure to cheer when your name and photograph appear on the screen. While this ceremony is virtual, your achievements are very real. On, and on behalf of the whole university, I commend you on your success, particularly in the especially challenging circumstances in which you have to complete your medical studies. Special congratulations to Mina Iskander, Rula Jamal Naki and Mustafa Hamad, who all won prizes in the Dr. H. H. Stewart Scholarship Competition organised by the NUI. To come out at the top in competitions involving students from the seven schools of medicines that come within the NUI represents exceptional academic distinction. You and your families should feel very proud. This is a proud day for all of the 2021 graduating class. 
with the COVID pandemic continuing to cause suffering and distress, I am sure that these new doctors will be welcomed with open arms in the healthcare systems in Bahrain, in the wider Gulf region and elsewhere. Today is a joyful occasion for the parents, families and friends of our new graduates. I know that you take great pride in their achievements so far and wish the very best for them in their future careers. This is a proud day too for RCSI Bahrain. On behalf of the National University of Ireland, I extend congratulations and good wishes to President Samir Otum and the staff of RCSI Bahrain, as also to our RCSI colleagues here in Dublin. Heartiest congratulations one and all. Be proud, we your teachers in RCSI Bahrain are so proud and inspired by you all. Your parents, family and friends are so proud of your achievements and you deserve this special day. You've shown enormous courage and resilience throughout the past 15 months in particular and have really risen to the challenge so well. Be grateful. I know you're very grateful to your parents and families for their never-ending support and encouragement. Be grateful to your wonderful class reps, Adnan and Amar, for representing you so well over the past year, and your teachers who have supported and encouraged you throughout this journey. They all rejoice in your success today. Be positive. Across the world, we need high quality and committed doctors who go that extra distance for their patients. Be amongst those who give their all and always put the patient first. Be inspired by outstanding clinicians, just like I was when I started working in healthcare first. People such as the great uh, late Jim Dornan, who gave a truly inspirational white coat ceremony speech this year and who kept that enthusiasm and passion throughout a lengthy career, constantly inspiring others. Try to be that sort of doctor. Be kind to each other. Medicine is a challenging and tough career and we all need support and encouragement at times. Offer that support, a kind word or gesture to a colleague who is under pressure and ensure you have a good work-life balance to enjoy a happy home life. Your experiences over the past 50 months will stand to you, will make you more resilient and will help you into the future. On my own behalf, and on behalf of all of faculty here in Orsay Sabarain, I offer you heartfelt congratulations and wish you every success as you embark on the next phase of your career. Medicine is a wonderful career as you can make such a positive impact on the lives of so many. Enjoy the experience, but do not forget your friends, forget your friends here in Bahrain. My own friends are, from college are my, still my very best friends. We certainly will not forget the class of 2021. Please keep in touch and we all look forward to welcoming you back again in the future. Or CSI will always be here for you. Hello everyone, my name is Adnan Ahmed and my name is Amar Khayami. We would like to congratulate you all for graduating as doctors despite the relentless circumstances you faced with the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been our pleasure to be your representatives throughout the past academic year. Our last two years of medical school were quite unusual but we managed to triumph and pull through. You earned all our respects made everyone proud of you. 
Do you guys remember the first day of medical school when we stood in line beside one another for registrations? We didn't know each other at that time and we all shared similar questions. Will I finish medical school? How difficult will this road be? Is it worth it? We all had our uncertainties in the beginning of our journey, but what made us sail through was our will and determination. We had great memories in RCSI, as we all remember our first homecoming when we started to blend in the new environment around us. We made new friends, friends that have grown to become family. As we wore our white coats during the white coat ceremony and took the Hippocratic Oath, we got a glimpse of the honor and responsibility of being a doctor. It was one of our uh, happiest days throughout our RCSI experience. We entered into different hospitals, searched for our doctors, tried to make it in time to our bedside teachings, witnessed surgeries, and been through a lot of ups and downs. Then we progressed to our senior years where we faced our biggest challenge, the COVID-19 pandemic. These were difficult times, but with our will, purpose, and continuous resiliency, we prevailed and here we are, we achieved our dream. Ammar and I have gotten to know each and every one of you over the years. We can see that the future of medicine is bright and in safe hands. We hope to see you in the highest of places and achieve greatness. Class of 2021, we finally made it.